Science. Have you ever stopped to think about the effect clothes dye has on the environment? Most people haven't, but we all complain when the colours on our favourite outfits start to fade. For more than 60 years, the chemical industry has been producing dyes using concentrated acids and nitrates. And up to 15% of these harmful colourants are released into the environment when the colours run in the wash. To combat this, biochemist Estelle Eno is studying ways we could use fungi as an alternative natural colourant. At the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium, she works within the EU-funded research project SOFID, testing the fungi's enzymes to create eco-dyes. Enzymes are proteins produced by the fungus. They're nanocatalysts, and this means they're tiny particles that are capable of accelerating reactions. To extract these nanocatalysts, the scientists cut the fungi into small pieces and put them into a liquid that contains nutrients. By keeping the specimen in a warm chamber, the fungi grows and releases the desired nano-sized proteins. And when the fluid and the proteins are added to the acidic solution, the transparent liquid turns into colourful dyes, without the need for any dangerous chemical reactions. Here we see the small enzymes helping to trigger a safe chemical reaction between two different ingredients. The solution turns red, yellow or purple depending on the components. You'd expect us to be able to make all the colours of the rainbow, but for now we've only managed yellow, orange, red, a lot of brown and a little green, but not blue. The new dyes are applied directly to the textiles, meaning extra chemicals that can pollute water aren't needed. The first tests have shown the dyes are resistant to washing and mechanical abrasion. But in the sunlight, the eco dyes do fade, and so the research continues to perfect the process and make a resistant but colourful eco dye.